double X, a, a trillion, a trillion dollar dream. Why experts predict 1000 X increase for tokenized treasuries. And this is something we've been trying to get across to people. Of course, there's going to be quite a few winners, actually. But Stellar is at the forefront right now as far as tokenized real world assets, right? I think Stellar is at, is at the top. Sometimes they're number one. I don't know if they're number one right now. Then there's like Ethereum and a few others. It says tokenized treasuries have grown by over 700 percent in one year, in one year. Learn how these digital assets are reshaping the investment scenes. The concept of digitizing traditional financial assets like government or corporate bonds, which let me pause there once again. And see, this is why it's important to share information. A lot of people will not know this. This is I think this is one of the reasons why Stellar has been keeping a tight relationship with the White House, with the federal government. They're sending letters to them and they're getting phone calls from the White House. Listen, uh, and, I, and I'll even throw Algorand in there. I'll throw Ripple in there. They have tight relationships with certain um, entities within the United States government as well. Things like this, where you're trusted, where you're respected, you've been working with them. You have someone for in Stellar's instance, like the Bank for International Settlements already has their green bond on there, on Stellar, right? So they have proof that they can be trusted, right? By these big, powerful entities. So when they're talking about digitizing traditional financial assets like government or corporate bonds i in my personal opinion not financial advice i'm not a financial advisor i believe stellar has to be at least their name is at the forefront they have to be somewhere near the front of the pack even if they're not chosen i believe it's a possibility they could be chosen for that right it says so corporate bonds for trading on blockchain platforms has transitioned from theory to practice as of February, tokenized treasuries have emerged as a new avenue for crypto investors, with the market witnessing a growth of over 700%, reaching $860 million. And that's just the beginning, up from $100 million at the start of 2023. It says here, the surge in interest isn't just from individual enthusiasts. Of course not. Of course not. Institutional investors are also getting on board and that's where the big money comes in we're at the at the very beginning of that institutional money flowing into crypto and it and it's barely begun this is recognizing the potential for higher yields remember i was talking about that and you know what's funny is um i don't want to give too much away but there's a members only video where i cover certain things like this certain things that are delicious and everything else i put a lot of data into that video other things just don't compare. They just don't compare. You look at the percentage on them. They don't compare. Higher yields. That's going to be something that's very advantageous for crypto. Trust me on this. It says, and more diversified portfolios. Global X, a giant in the world of, of ETFs, managing over $42 billion in assets, predicts based on real world assets data that the market for tokenized bonds, which once again, Stellar's already involved in tokenized bonds, which is currently under $1 billion, could explode to around $1 trillion by 2030. How much of that do you believe Stellar could take? It's up to you to decide. Marking over a 1,000x increase from current levels. Now, just imagine you have wallets that have to use XLM. Every wallet has to have a modicum of XLM. Then on top of that, with all of, all of the different um, illiquid, uh, uh, illiquid assets that they have that they can't move, right? They can't liquidate. You can use Stellar to pro provide liquidity for those things to move any currency or anything that's tokenized. Tokenized. Do you want to invest but don't know where to start? Check out the Weeble app, an easy to use trade value from one place from A to B. So then you have that as well. Excellent being used for that. But then also, if you watched one of the recent videos where I showed um, how sorrow ban will affect XLM's price, period. Um, and the fees associated with it that are calculated in Lumen, Stroops, and all that type of stuff. Um, you have that. Now, imagine all of these companies using sorrow ban, right? Um, imagine Stellar, if, if Stellar can move to the forefront of the smart contract sphere. And with their connections, it's definitely possible. 
definitely possible. Um, how that could affect everything. I keep that in my mind. You don't have to agree with me. You don't have to think how I think. Um, I'm just sharing my thoughts. That's all. So tokenized treasuries. What are tokenized treasuries and how do they work? It says, in essence, tokenized treasuries are a subset of tokenized securities. Focusing solely on government debt instruments. What are tokenized securities? They are digital representations of traditional financial assets traded on blockchain networks using digital tokens. All right. Examples of tokenized securities, of course, include company stocks, government or corporate bonds, and even real estate properties. Of course, here they have to throw in treasuries. So now, and I would think like, like when I say that I'm talking about bonds, I'm talking about T bills. Um, I see everything being tokenized. It's just, it's going to be so easy for them to move everything, track it, trace it. Um, so now let's move here, right? We move here. This is from stellar.org just to give you a, a di direct reference point as to how they're involved, right? So this is a, um, a post, a blog post from Stellar titled the full package tokenizing securities on the Stellar network. We probably looked at this before, but I just want to show you here with the treasuries, that treasuries aspect. As the digital economy continues to grow, asset tokenization has emerged as one of the most practical and compelling applications of blockchain technology. Companies like BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and more have all begun to explore tokenizing assets like money market funds, treasuries, deposits, securities, and commodities for the purpose of leveraging real-time settlement and operational efficiency supported by distributed ledger technology. The Stellar Network was originally designed for asset tokenization. So they're telling the people, we're designed for all of that. We're designed for money market funds. We're desi designed for treasuries, deposits, securities, commodities, right? This, I told you, this is what they want to go after. They're telling you right here. One of the reasons with commodities, why they're positioned in certain regions deeply in the world that are rich in commodities. Um, you see them, you know, rubbing shoulders with Wisdom Tree, uh, Franklin Templeton, United Nations, Bank for International Settlements is one of money market funds come in handy, will, will come into play, possibly treasuries, uh, et cetera. Right. So Stellar has been positioning, positioning themselves. We just have to wait and see for those who will wait and see um, if they can pull it all off. Right. Which none of us has a crystal ball. We don't know. But things have been looking good, my humble opinion. So now let's go to a little bit more Stellar related news. OK. It's a rare day where we got a, a few things released. So now this article here is titled MoneyGram Accelerates Global Digital Strategy with Appointment of New Senior Hires to Drive Unprecedented Growth. What allows that unprecedented growth? Stellar. Stellar based wallets. All that integration that they did with Stellar. That's what is going to allow it. So I guess the time is coming soon. Let's read this little tidbit here. It says MoneyGram International Incorporated, a leading global financial technology company that connects the world's communities, is pleased to announce four strategic appointments to its senior management team responsible for the acceleration of the company's global digital strategy. These new leaders will partner closely with executive leadership team and report directly to Seth Ross, MoneyGram chief, chief digital officer. Bringing decades of digital expertise to MoneyGram, the new leaders will help oversee the next level of digital, they put emphasis on that, digital growth for the company, focusing on four strategic areas, MoneyGram Online, MoneyGram Business, Pricing Strategy, and Payments and Product Partnerships. Right. Interesting. It says, quote, it's been a privilege to join the incredible team that I don't, let's skip the quotes here. Skip the quotes, but they have some powerhouses here that they are bringing here. It says Reyes, Arnold, Arnaldo Reyes has uh, 20 years of payment payments experience. So they have a list here of all the people that they're bringing in. This could get interesting very quickly. Um, see, they're, they're here talking about mobile wallets and such, right? It's going to be interesting to see how this relationship between Stellar and MoneyGram takes off with all these on and off ramps that they claim that they have been building um, with Soro Band deploying coming up soon. It's going to be an interesting, you know, next year or two for Stellar. Really, the bank coins overall. Did you see yesterday's video, by, by the way? It said it was titled something like, yes, 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 something. 
If you're a business owner.